Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to share this thing that I got because um, my husband bought this for me and I recently found out that I was very vitamin D um, deprived. And this is a Verilux and it's the Happy Light. And I have to sit under this light for one to two hours a day. And it's, it's just a little light like this. And it just gives you a nice amount of vitamin D that you need. Um, I've been gone for a while because I've been really sick. Um, I've had a great uh, weight loss. But I found out my sugar was really high, which I recently got it down. Um, my sugar was so high, they were telling me that I had all the signs of diabetes. And that um, it was like 300 and something and it should just be on insulin and all. But I went to see a doctor who actually believed in all natural healing and um, eating your way healthy because she said not only if we ate our way unhealthy, we could eat our way healthy. So I've lost within the last year when I started my juicing, if you were watching my videos, I've lost over 80 pounds. Um, and I have gotten my sugar back to normal, but I have, I hardly go outside because of my lupus, so I can't be in the sun, which makes me vitamin C, vitamin D deprived. So, um, as of, I'd say the past four, four months, I have been vegan. Um, I, I'm going more towards vegetarian because I, my body is lacking a lot of things that I, I do get from not eating meat and, um, not doing dairy and I've had to take like is it vitamin B6 tablets or B12 B12 under my tongue because it's dangerous and all this stuff so I'm, I'm learning little as I go but I have been doing that I do feel great um, I am on my bed with my these are my white headphones and oh I got a new phone I got the Galaxy 3 note and my husband got me this one and this is oh there's my husband right there that's my baby. Um, let me see if I can open it and get him back on there. Um, but yeah, I got the white, the white one with the rose gold. You can see the rose gold right there. And I absolutely love this phone. I wanted a white, a white one with the rose gold, and it's been really nice. So yeah, I'm totally loving this phone. Um, I have never had a case like this before to where, hi Mia, to where, um, this is actually the back of my phone, this part right here. So they removed my back and put this on there, and I really like this. I watch a lot of Korean shows and they all have this phone, so I'm like, hey, that is so cool. I want that phone too. Yeah, so that's my phone. And my hubby who is gone right now, he is on a small deployment. Um, I have in the video because people had asked me about what's been going on with me and if um, my Facebook I had made it private more for my personal friends and people I got to know really well I have on my Facebook and for the most part I just kind of keep my YouTube and Facebook separated um, I did have a Facebook page to get so many questions about this but it, it was just too much drama um, and it made me sad watching uh, people fight and so I, I really didn't want to have to watch that when I don't like, you know, it, it's just better just separating the two. My family would get upset and my friends and say, well, who are they? And that's so stupid. And they don't want to see it. So I just totally got rid of it. So, um, yeah. But anyways, that's what I've been up to. Just really trying to be healthy, um, getting my life back in order, um, preparing for a big deployment. My husband is gone for almost two weeks. Um, we get, he comes back, I think, next Wednesday, and then we're going to take a week off together. We're probably going to stay home, but just spend time. Um, and then he's going to go the end of the summer, and he will be gone for about a year again. We just did the two years apart, so he's gone again, so it is really hard. And I'm just trying to prepare myself for that. Um, it's hard for me. I don't know how to prepare, you know, how to do it. At least my dad soothed me, so I don't have to be totally alone, but it's still kind of sad for me to have to go through all that. But, um, yeah, I was talking about this light, and I got so off track. But, yeah, that's my vitamin D light. I love my happy light. It's supposed to make me happy, but I just chill in my room. What else is going on with me? That Lorena has a boyfriend. Oh, my gosh. Yes, she does. 
and she graduates from high school early next year. She only needs two more credits to graduate, which she could graduate this year, but she's barely 16, and she already skipped a grade, so she's already graduating early. We don't want her to be um, too young to go to university. Um, she was going, wanted to get into NCSU in North Carolina because she wants to be veterinarian, and then she came to us the other day and told us she wants has changed her mind, and she is now going to pursue a career in um, opera and musical theater. So please wish her luck and pray for her. Um, there are videos of her singing if you haven't heard her. She hasn't gotten trained yet, so we don't know how she's going to sound when she finally does get trained. But we're really hoping that you know her little dreams come true. Um, so that's really it. Um, we're focusing on that, getting her ready for to graduate and sadly my husband will not be there but we're hoping some way somehow that he does make it to graduation because it looks like he won't he'll be on appointment so again I'm back to being by myself um, and I'm hoping to do more videos uh, I haven't bought anything I haven't really gone shopping I haven't done anything I've just been trying to spend as much time with my family as I can I am in my new room I don't know if you could see this I still have my turtle <laughs> right there um, but this is the new room in our new house. Remember my old bed? I mean, not just the same bed, but my old room. Yeah, this is our new room. Um, it's kind of sad here because it's a huge house and I'm by myself a lot. So, But I don't mean to complain. I mean, I'm really happy and I know I'm very blessed. But that, I think that's really it. Just my health. Um, I've been asked. Oh, and I, I want to thank everyone who's been keeping up with my videos I have been in shock that I get every single day I get people asking me questions still commenting on my videos I'm like what people are still watching them it's been so long since I've been on but I get comments about a lot of the videos and a lot of people asking about Lorena so I did do a video recently about how she looks now how big she is you know the differences that she's changed and stuff just because people ask me every day um, and I, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much to those who are still interested in us and who say they miss us and, you know, they, ha they miss our laughter and our goofiness and just miss our videos. I really honestly thought people didn't watch us anymore and it just feels really good to know that people are, are interested in what's going on with us and they're still commenting and, and um, including us, in, I guess, in the YouTube community or whatever. So I just want to say thank you to everyone. I really appreciate it. I hadn't been on for a long time, and I started checking, you know, my emails and stuff like, whoa, I couldn't believe it, especially, like, recently. So I'm like, wow, asking me about my health, about my weight loss, about Lorena, a lot of them, about how is Rena, how old is she, how is she doing, how are you doing? I know you were, you know, doing juicing, and, you know, so I'm just going to try and incorporate that. So... Um, yes, my husband's still in the military. He's um, a lieutenant in the Navy. Um, we are still a military family. We're still going for the 20, 25 years. Um, we got a long way to go. We're barely, I think, nine years into it. And um, yeah, we're still doing what we're doing. We will be moving, I think, the beginning of 2016 or the end of 2015. So we're going to move again, another adventure. Don't know where we're going. The sky's the limit, but hopefully it'll be summer fun. I would like to stick around, though. I really love it in Virginia, and I do like North Carolina. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about my little happy light, which is really short. And I wanted to put this out there because I noticed there's people talking about, you know, that they're having problems with vitamin D. They don't go in the sun, or people cannot be in the sun. This is a really nice alternative, a happy light, um, and it works. I've been doing a lot better. I have to see my doctor again and see how I'm doing still, but I've been doing a lot, excuse me, a lot better since I've been using my happy light. And that's really it. I have nothing else more to say because I think that's all there is that I've been going through. Just been really being for myself, I guess, trying to figure out what to do. I'm making products, making lotions and stuff. Having fun with my dad because my dad's been doing it with me. So, yeah. All right, everyone. Just really appreciate you caring about what's going on with us and keeping up with us. And it really touched me. So thank you so much. God bless you. And hopefully I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Um, I just made something and I kind of wanted to share it. Um, today I attempted to make a thick version of um, whipped soap. And my lighting isn't that good, but I just want to show you. This is what it looks like. And in here, um, I'm going to show you the consistency of this. It's pretty thick. I mean, 
It's really thick. Can you see that? It's not like cream. I mean, it's soft enough to gather, but it's really thick. And I have a whipping soap base, and I put um, lots of coconut oil. I put grapeseed oil. Hmm. I put honey. I put, um, I skipped the lanolin. I put glycerin. And I put, I, I dissolve African black soap and make a liquid version. And I also put African black soap in here. So this is amazing. Thank you.